Welcome back. Um, in the previous lesson, we have learned how to enter the balances in the GJ. And then we, I said we had, we have an option whether to print the GJ with contrast if the question paper requires you to do so. In, uh, in this case, uh, the question paper did not require you to print the GJ. So, what if the question paper requires you to print the GJ? So you are going to go to print and print with contrast. I'm going to print with contrast just to show you how it's going to look like. Because I don't have a printer, I'm going to print in the Microsoft uh, PDF. So my printer is going to be set there. Or I can print just to view. Okay, it's not going to allow me to view it on the screen. So I'm going to print on the PDF. I'm going to print on the PDF and then I'm going to click on OK. Mm, I'm going, and then I'm going to save it uh, under my downloads. I'm going to create a folder uh, and I'm going to call this folder Duma Prints. So it's going to be Duma prints, and then my first printout is going to be a general. Okay, let me see where is my folder now. Okay, let me check my folder. I can't see it anymore. Let me create another one. Okay, it's there. Okay, I can just double click on it so that it opens. And then I'm going to call this printout general, general journal. Okay, so I'm going to call it a general journal. Then I'm going to save. Then I'm going to look for it so that I can see how it's going to look like when it's printed out. Remember, I saved it in the folder, so I'm going to double click the folder. There is my file there called general journal. Then I'm going to double click it. And then how it's going to look like this. When it's printed out, if it was printed out in the general journal, uh, it's just going to look like this. You can see that it says last year and my educational number is appearing. And then I recorded all this in period 12 last year. And then here's my reference there and my description. And then it shows all the accounts that went to the debit side and all the accounts that went to the credit side. So this was just for demonstration. You are not required to print the general journal. So we are going to go back to our general journal. You can see that it's still there. Although we couldn't see it anymore, you can just scroll up. Your general journal is still there. So because we haven't yet posted it, we have not yet updated it. So when we update it, it's going to disappear. Remember, it must say in balance for us to be able to update it. So if it's not in balance, it means it, you will not be able to post it or update it. So we are going to continue with our question paper. It says that do not print the general journal batch listing. Number five, it says post the general journal to the general ledger. So if they say post, it means they mean update. So we are going to click on update. And then we're going to say, update this batch. And then we can all do the backup before updating, meaning we want to retain the original copy of this company before we update it. Let me see if we say update backup before updating. I'll just say update. Um, and then I will have to make sure that um, the files are readable. And then... I can create a new folder for my update. Then I will call it Duma One. So it means I'm, I'm I'm retaining the original copy of my file before updating. Okay, so I'm gonna process. But you are, you don't need to do this when you are doing when you are writing your exam. I'm just retaining this copy for future purposes. It says warning your local drive that you have selected is are you sure you want to continue i'll just say yes okay then i'll click on okay 
then I will close. So let's see what happened now. We are updating. What happened after you've updated? Um, my JJ disappears. So that's why it's important to read the instructions. If the instruction says print the GJ, make sure that you print your GJ or your general journal before you update it. So my uh, my GJ is gone. I can just close. So what does that mean? It means now my balance is updated. Before it was updated, all these accounts were zero zeros. But now after updating, the, the, the accounts now they've got information on it. Okay, so this is how we post or this is how we update our accounts. Then from here, they say we must use a budget assistant to draw up a budget for all the income statement accounts. So for all the income statement account, it means for all your income and expenses. So when you create your budget, you need to know the range of the accounts that you need to create your budget for. In this case, it's going to be income and expenses. And then you must also know which budget are you creating. Are you creating this year's budget or are you creating next year's budget? So they say copy last year's actual amount to this year's budget. So it means we are doing the budget for this year. So how do you create a budget? You go to edit general ledger budgets. And then when you are there, you'll get this budget assistant, which give you four options. The options that you have to do your budget, one, you can copy or overwrite the current budget or the next year's budget values with the actual or other budget values, optionally adjusting or rounding the values at the same time. That's the first option that you can use. The second option, you can adjust or round the current budget to the next year's budget values. That op third option, you can enter or edit the individual accounts on your budget. And then the fourth uh, option, you can make a printout of the budget. So you need to read your instructions that you are given in the question paper. For example, the question paper, it says here, copy last year's. It means in this case, we are going to use option one. But if the, of the, the instruction says enter the individual values of the budget, then it means we're going to use option three. So it means in this case, we are using option one, where we copy uh, which values the last year's actual amount to this year's budget. Okay. So we click on next. Uh, which budget are we doing? We are doing the current year's budget. Then you click on next. Here you need to specify the range of the account that you want to be included in your report. So you have, uh, you can uh, select the range according to account or according to financial category or according to report writer. I like to use account. Then with account, I'm going to specify the account that I'm going to start from as part of my range. So I'm, I, I'm going to zoom in there. Then I make sure when I'm here, I don't search with description, but I search with the account because when I search with description, it distorts my account, my accounts. They are not according to order, but when I, I, I zoom with sequence, it makes uh, my accounts to be in, in order. You can see all my incomes are in order there, all my expenses and so forth and so forth. So I'm going to use the zoom sequence as the account. Then I'm going to select the first account, which is the account that I'm going to start from uh, as part of my range. Then I go to the account two. Then I get in there. Now I'm going to select the last account, which must be part of my range, which is going to be the last expense, which is salaries. So it means my budget will include accounts from sales up to the last expense. So I can double click there. Then that will indicate my range there. Then I click on next. On next, I have to now select which values I want to be copied on my on my budget. The options that are there is copy this year's actual to this year's budget, which is not what I'm looking for. 
Copy next year's budget to this year's budget. I'm not looking for that as well. Copy last year's actual to this year's budget. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to select option three. Then I click on next. If in the question paper they said you must uh, increase or round for on the first step, you must just uh, leave that section of rounding uh, and adjusting. You must just copy first. So I'm going to copy, then I'm going to click on next, and then I process. So it means I did only the first procedure there where I was copying the last year's uh, values or values to the to this year's budget. Then I continue with my budget. I click on start again. I'm still continuing with this budget that I'm doing. So now I have to increase all account by 6%. No rounding is required. So it means I'm going to do step number two, where I do the adjust and round. I click on next. Then I'm still doing the current year's budget. I click on next again. And then my range is still the same. I click on next again. But when I come here, I must now choose what is it that I want to do. I want to adjust only or I want to round only or I want to adjust and round. In this case, I want to adjust only. Sorry. Yes, I want to adjust only by how much? By 6%. So I must type a percentage there and press enter. And then I click on next let me uh, go back a bit okay then i click on next then i process then i go to start again i'm still on the same budget they say do not print this budget right so if in a question paper they said you must print this budget let's see what you should have done here you're going to say um, uh, oh, oh, we are going to select make a printout of the budget as your next step. Then you click on next. And then when you come here, you make sure that you select your correct range. Account start, you select your first uh, uh, income. And then account end, you select your last expense. So that is your range of the budget that you want to see there. So this is very, very important. And then also when you are here, you must make sure that you are in the correct budget. You can see you have this year's budget, last year's budget, or next year's budget. So which one did we do? Is this year's budget. So I'm going to select this year's budget. Then when I click OK, this is how my budget is going to look like. If in the question paper, they said I must print the budget. But in this question paper, they didn't want this budget. So I'm not supposed to submit this. So I'm going to close it. And then... What is it that they want? They say, make one printout of a trial balance on 28 February 2022 to show the account balances as well as the budgeted amount. So it means I must just move out of here because I, 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 if I want to print a budget, I, I mean a trial balance, anything that I want to print as a report, I would get it under the view option. So I go to view, general ledger, financial reports, trial balance that's where i need to be and then i need to read the instruction how must i print my trial balance they say uh, it must show the zero items and uh, it must show the comparative figures you see show the comparative figures last year no but we must show the comparative figures as budget and it must include the opening balances so that one is ticked and then we must also print the balance sheet account first which is ticked okay at the moment i'm going to print this on the screen but in the in the exam you will have to print this in the printer so because i'm not connected to the printer at the moment i'm going to print it in this on the screen so let's see how it's going to look like yes this is how my, uh, my my trial balance is going to look like as indicated my balances are showing for last year and then the the budget is also showing here so this is how it needs to show as your answer for this uh, activity here so in the next video i'll continue with this question paper 
but we'll be looking at the report writer as well as doing the closing transfers of the net profit and drawings.